Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is my 25th week pregnancy update. I can't believe that I'm 25 weeks. I only have 15 weeks left. It seems like it's going so slow, but when I look at the big picture, it's like flown by. It's crazy. Um, so if you are new here, welcome. My name is Linny. This is baby number two for us. We have conceived both of our children through in vitro fertilization, which is a fertility treatment known as IVF. And so, yeah, let's just get right into it. Today, I am exactly 25 weeks and one day pregnant. Baby is the size of a rutabaga, a Napa cabbage, cauliflower, and a Zach Morris brick phone. <laughs> um, so approximately measuring in at about 13 and a half inches long and now weighing a pound and a half, which I'm gonna go ahead and guess that my baby's already probably bigger than that, but we'll see, I guess, when baby comes. For my weight gain, so I gained another pound, like I I believe exactly a pound this week. So I'm at 154.6. I started at um, 126. So I've gained about 28 pounds so far this pregnancy at 25 weeks, which is crazy. I believe with my daughter, I only gained about 40 pounds. So we'll see how the remainder of this pregnancy goes. Symptoms this week. Um, I would say the biggest thing, the only thing that was really different this week was one of the days, it was Thursday, so I don't know what day exactly pregnancy-wise I was, but I was having, I don't know if they were Braxton Hicks, they basically felt like cramps. I'm unsure if they were Braxton Hicks or if it was like growing pains. They weren't painful by any means, but I definitely could feel them. Um, it definitely wasn't like contraction, so I don't know what it was. I don't know if it's just my stomach stretching. This baby sits much lower than my daughter ever did, so I'm like being stretched a different way than I was with her, I feel like. And this way, for me, is much more uncomfortable than the position my daughter was in when she was in my belly. So it's just crazy how different every pregnancy can be. Um, my stomach still feels really heavy, which again, never with my daughter did I feel like my, my stomach like weighed a lot. This baby is just so low. It's literally like laying on my bladder. So I'm constantly having to pee all the time. And, um, The kicks, when I feel like kicking, it's like very, it's very, very low in my pelvic area. Like it feels like it's little foot is just going to come right out of me. It's crazy. Um, and then I'm still having the round ligament pain, which I really never had with my daughter either. And I think it's just because this baby is like really far down. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. That's that for my symptoms. Cravings this week, um, I, you know what, I have like the biggest sweet tooth at night, like after dinner, I want dessert and it's usually ice cream and it's a specific kind of ice cream. It's like as of recently, I would say for the past two weeks, almost every night, which this is probably going with my weight gain. This is such a healthy option for me, but I've been craving caramel fudge brownie ice cream and it's at a local ice cream shop here in Ohio and it is just so, so good. And I will say this particular ice cream shop, it's um, Mitchell's Ice Cream and they are doing an amazing job with social distancing. So the other kicker is you don't even have to get out of your car. They actually prefer you to not get out of your car. So they come right out to your car <laughs> and place your order and bring your ice cream out to you and then you just go eat it wherever you want to eat it but 
good for them. I'm really happy that they're doing so well and their ice cream is absolutely amazing. So we pretty much go there almost every single day at this point, I would say. So that's a craving that I probably won't be able to kick, unfortunately. I had the same craving with my daughter. It wasn't the same type of ice cream, but I was constantly craving ice cream. So it looks like that's returned. <laughs> my sleep has been, eh, I've started waking up in the middle of the night having to go to the bathroom. And then once I get up out of bed, it takes me a good hour and a half to two hours to fall back asleep. And I'm usually waking up around like 3.30 in the morning. So by the time I fall back asleep, I'm only getting like another hour of sleep and then I'm up for the day. So other than that, if I did not have to pee in the middle of the night, my sleep would be excellent. My gender guess this week is boy. I've been feeling strongly that it is a boy this week for some reason, which I've, I haven't really, I don't know. I still wouldn't be surprised if they pulled the baby out and said it was a girl, but my guess is boy this week. Stretch marks. I, I do believe that I have a few new stretch marks above my belly button. Um, but other than that, none that I can notice at the moment. Movement this week definitely is not as much as it was last week. So baby was moving like crazy last week and I'm thinking it may have turned its little body into a different position than it was in last week. So I'm obviously still feeling it daily um, and multiple times throughout the day. We're not quite to the point of where I like have to start counting kicks or I'm supposed to start counting kicks. I believe that starts um, in your third trimester, like either 27 or 28 weeks. So we're almost there, but we're not quite there yet. But I'm just not feeling it as much as I was last week. So um, best moment of the week. The best moment this week, I would say, is we are getting our house painted, and um, the guy that's doing it is really, really slow, like painting-wise. It's been about a week now, and it's still not done, and we do not have a big house at all. So I'm excited that the house is being painted, but it's taking a while worst moment of the week. So today is my niece's sixth birthday party and clearly I'm here and not there. So, you know, it's a really weird time. I feel, I feel so, so, so bad, but we are not going to go to her party and I cannot even believe that I'm saying that, but I just we we have a lot on the line right now me being pregnant I have a three-year-old my grandma watches my three-year-old while my husband and I work um, along with Matt's parents who are both older as well and they are I believe not going to the party either so it just is a really really hard decision for us to make and it is like eating me up right now that we're not going. I feel so bad about it. But I will say pregnant women recently moved up to the high risk category. Um, and I think, so I knew that I was immunocompromised. Being pregnant, your immune system naturally lowers to ensure that your body doesn't try to fight off the baby. So I knew that I was immunocompromised being pregnant. However, we, I believe pregnant women got moved up to the high risk category because um, new studies have shown that one in every three pregnant women are having to be hospitalized due to the virus. So, you know, I'm just 
trying to be extra careful and cautious with what I'm doing and who I'm seeing and unfortunately this wasn't just like a family get together I'm not unsure how many people are gonna be there and who's gonna be there and at this time it's just not something that we're willing to risk so we had to make the hard decision and here we are we're not going and I just I feel so bad about it miss anything yes I miss like the way the world used to be the way everything used to be this is just it's really crazy that we're living through something like this I know that one day hopefully it won't be as crazy as it is right now and I am looking forward to that day anything make you sick or queasy I'm gonna say no not this week what are you looking forward to? So I was looking forward to my niece's birthday party that we're not going to now. Um, I am looking forward to the house being finished, painted. And I am now starting to think about um, like getting some of my daughter's old stuff out and going through it. And I actually made my first baby purchase this week for the new baby nothing crazy it was three muslin swaddles I got them from Target and we had an ubi diaper pail with my daughter so I bought the bags for that and that's it that's those are the first two things I've bought for this baby and so far the only things so honestly I don't think we need to buy much we didn't find out with my daughter what what she was going to be either so we have a ton of gender neutral like newborn stuff so I, I don't know we'll see as I start pulling things out and going through her stuff like what I decide we might need but as of right now I don't think it's much but those are things that I'm looking forward to we are supposed to go hang out with our friends next weekend I'm not going to hold my breath and start looking forward to it because I have a feeling we may not be going to that either. It's just it's just going to be like the four of us, my husband and I and then them too. But I just don't know. Everything is so crazy right now. Rings on or off. They are still on belly button in or out um, at this point I'm gonna say it's probably mostly out <laughs> moody or happy um, I've been more happy I would say this week so yeah now for the bump shot here is the 25 week bump do you guys like the background today by the way <laughs> switching it up a little bit from the front And then here it is from the side, 25 weeks, and from the front. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss my future videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.